y'all ask, y'all may receive, bro. You too. What's the dealio, man? It's your boy J Mayor back with another video. Now today, bro, y'all been asking for the best shooting and playmaking badges on NBA 2K22 next gen. Now, personally, bro, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really want to, you know what I mean? I don't want to spam this every season because it really don't change every season. But this time around, we got some new shit. You know what I'm saying? So before the video even start, bro, spam. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, bro. Stop playing. You know what I mean? Let's y'all to get this to 500 likes, dog. Also hit that subscribe button, bro. We are close to that 30k, bro. We 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 inching on that thing. You know what I'm saying? We inching. So spam that thing up too, man. With that being said, bro, let's get right into it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now to cert. Let, let me certify myself, Jay Amir. How are you capable? How are you? How are you responsible for giving people? You know what I'm saying? The best thing. You know what I'm saying? The best. The best shooting badges. Well, okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, I right, think if you see right here, bro. You know what I mean? Jay Amir has a 72.7 three point percent. What that means is that nigga, I don't miss, bro. Not not for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, some people miss every once in a while, but I'm consistent, bro. If you check the highest rep in this thing, you know what I'm saying? That mean, you know what I'm saying? But look, 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 no, on some real shit. You know what I mean? Let's let's check the next highest rep in this thing. And we gonna see what is what is Jug hitting for. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let's, let's see what you talking about, BWA. A point guard, 91-3. 61 you know what i'm saying you see the difference bro that's a 10 percent yeah so what i'm saying is that i got the best shooting badges now the thing about this y'all is that everybody has a different build if you guys look at my build bro you guys can you know what i mean i dropped the build video already you guys gonna see that i have 51 shooting badges which a lot of y'all don't so not i'm not gonna tell you guys the badge setup but i will tell you guys the best badges to use all right so with that being said let's get into it man let's go gang so we're gonna start off with the shooting badge and I'm about to give you guys like a tier list of what's most important to the stuff that you just don't need, all right? So the first thing we're gonna start off is with Hot Zone Hunter. This is the best badge on the game. I'm gonna be having gameplay in the back so you guys can see what I'm talking about, bro. But this is the best badge on the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? What this does is allow you to shoot and get a, you know what I'm saying, percentage boost for anywhere you got a Hot Zone at. So if you play in my career, you get your Hot Zones all around the world, you know what I mean? Anywhere you shoot, you get an extra boost, which helps you make your shots, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is the first badge you should even put hall of fame so you can go crazy you know what i'm saying definitely tier one and before i before i continue i want to make sure i want to make sure i get this out the way if you guys can't get this hall of fame put it on gold just put it on the back tier as possible you know what i'm saying so you can go crazy now the next thing that i feel like is the best badge on this game is stop and pop we talk about guards right now all us guards we all have to handle ball at some point bro and when you handle the ball you stop it you know what i'm saying before you popping it you know what i'm saying so with hot zone hunter and stop and pop together you pretty much straight i ain't gonna lie like all these other badges are great but these are the two most important impactful badges when it comes to making shots because they give you boosts for things that you already do and that's what badges are supposed to do you know what i'm saying you're not supposed to put on a, your favorite youtubers badges put on a badge that is going to help you in your gameplay you know what i mean so definitely have to put on that stop and pop and then before we leave off this tier list y'all i'm sorry bro we gotta do the dead eye and blinders now these are very 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 important badges now you guys see the type of shots i be hitting you know what i'm saying straight contested you know what i mean it's to the point i don't even record clips no more you know what i mean i don't even record clips of me hitting the contest because i'm doing it so often bro and it's because of this right here you know what i mean these two badges together allow you to hit a lot of contested stuff anytime you get open in a small space and you rise up if you rose up before he contested you it's great you know what i'm saying that's junk money so make sure you guys have these four badges on the highest tier as possible before you worry about anything else bro all right now the next tier you know what i mean i'm gonna just leave this all to sniper bro because this kind of in it is kind of in his league of his own bro it's, it's one of those things where you don't really need but you need you know what i mean because i ain't gonna lie having a 72 three point percent i shoot some whites you know what i mean and when i do shoot whites i rely on my boy sniper to bail me out that day and some of these whites do turn to greens with snipers so i absolutely love this badge bro you know what i'm saying it's a little overpowered yeah 2k might need to uh you know what i'm saying tone it down next year but it's in the game bro it's in the game to stay so what we gonna do with it we're gonna go crazy with it you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm using right there after sniper bro the badge i'm gonna hit next is corner specialist and circus threes now these Jungs work in conjunction together. Now you guys always ask me how to fade, and I'm gonna make a whole separate video in teaching you strate uh, strategic, you know what I'm saying, strategic ways and sh like that. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, these two badges together allow you to hit fades at a high, high level, bro. Circus three say high difficulty jumpers as a hop step, step back, and pull up. And when you combine that with corner specialist, bro, it's dang near a standing shot. It's the easiest shot in the game. So I highly recommend that if it's not in your gameplay, you know what I'm saying. And I'm making these videos for the people that watch me. 
me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all watch me play, and y'all are all guards. Most, most, most likely. You know what I mean? I hope a center not watching the best guard badge video. I mean. If you are, you know what I'm saying, send it to your guard. You know what I'm saying? I'll rock with you. Some of y'all just run and watch Jay Amir, and I love you for that. But anyways, bro, when you combine that with corner specialists, bro, it just goes crazy. And I, I highly recommend y'all all learn how to fade, bro. It's gonna it's gonna open your game up so much more because not only are you a threat when you come off the screen for a pop, but if they, you know what I'm saying, they lagging behind, you can pull up like those, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, put that thing on up, uh, and then right after that, I'm gonna have to say difficult shots. Now, this is really this is really for people that are like taking mid ranges, bro. I just put that on for a video. Actually, usually I have this on Limitless Spot Up, which I'm gonna get into right now, which is Chef and Limitless Spot Up. A lot of y'all wonder how I, I shoot from deep it's, it's crazy because it's like y'all wonder how I shoot from deep now I tell y'all I use chef and limitless spot up and then y'all be like it don't work nigga it work you know what I'm saying you making me mad bro I literally use this badge and what it does is it allows me to as soon as I cross half court not even half court if I get to that half court line and I'm open I'm taking that thing bro with no no conscience to it because I feel confident in these badges letting me you know what I'm saying make that shot what it is is uh, what limitless range was back in the day you know what I'm saying but split into two so I usually I just put both of those boys on hall of fame so I can have that one badge you know what I'm saying with that being said man we got one more badge, bro, and that's Mismatch Expert. This is a very great badge, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these are, like, high-tier badges, and then the rest of them are, like, things that you could put on, like, bronze and stuff like that. But this is, like, the last high-tier badge that I feel like people need, especially if you're a guard under 6'5". You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are, you know what I'm saying, under, like, over 6'5", so y'all won't get it. But if you are under 6'5", this allows you to shoot over centers. And not only that, but it gives you a boost on any time you get a switch on somebody taller. So why not use something that you're probably going to use in the game? Now, now, um, with 51 badges, I did choose to use my one bronze badge on Green Machine, but I will tell you other good bronze badges, y'all. Um, green Machines is, is kind of self-explanatory. Once you hit one green, you hit them all. You know what I mean? Help you for the rest of them. So it's a, it's definitely a tough badge. But another good one I like to use is catch and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Especially on my bigger guards. For my big guards, I use catch and shoot. Um, just because it's one of those things where it's like you always in a situation. I like I like I like taking you know what I'm saying Dexon and then getting open and just shooting. It. I don't always got to put the ball on the floor. So I do use that. But then again, I ain't gonna lie. Back to the you know what I'm saying the first top tier badge. Hot Zone Hunter allows you to do that because if you're in a spot and you catch it in in that spot, you getting the boost for it. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Clutch shooter is also a good one, bro. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, niggas 1919 hands get a little sweaty. Understandable. Happens to me too. Clutch shooter allows you to bail, bail you out sometimes. And the last badge I can probably vouch for, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make a whole separate video on this. Is Lucky Seven? You know what I'm saying? I, it's it's kind of it. What's the word? It's kind of gimmicky. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of gimmicky because you're probably not gonna score in the first seven seconds every single possession. But diving on bronze is cool. You know what I'm saying? The rest of these trash. You know what I'm saying? Set shooter. You shouldn't be holding the ball for that long. Slippery off ball. Who the hell do you think you are to be using this right stick to be doing that? Volume shooter, you don't take enough shots in, in a park game to even use this. Fade ace, that's for my big man, you know what I'm saying? Rhythm shooter is broken. They need to work on that. And with that being said, that's all the shooting badges, you know what I'm saying? I told you guys the best ones, top tier. Y'all boys make sure that y'all put the ones in the highest tier to the highest degree of, you know what I'm saying, badge. Difficulty, whatever you call it, you know what I'm saying? Now we on to the playmaking. Let's get it, man. Gang. Now, like I said, bro, my build is so much different than a lot of y'all. So I wouldn't, I'm not gonna tell you guys a layout, bro, because it's totally different. But if you guys do want to make this build, like I said, bro, here's a video right there for y'all to go watch. But listen, you know what I'm saying? We gonna talk about the best badge to use. Now, the first best badge to use as a guard, and I stress this is unpluckable you want to put that at the max tier possible as a guard you have to take care of each and every single possession you know what i'm saying one turnover can lose the game not not your man's going four for six what about that first turnover in the beginning of the game that changed everything you know what i'm saying so make sure you guys put that at the max tier possible also in this same you know what i'm saying the same realm is quick first step this will allow you to move this will allow you to grow this will allow you to be unguardable and set up your teammates or yourself you know what i'm saying so i say put on this at hall of fame or the max tier possible and then last but not least bro i'll have my boy handles for days this allows you to you know what i'm saying have a lot of stamina make sure that you're able to you know what i'm saying with uh 14 seconds left when you're dribbling you still you know what i mean an effective point guard and still a threat so with those two three in mind i need y'all to make sure 
sure you guys get it. You know what I mean? Get to it, boy. This badge, I'm kind of going to tear it out, bro, because it can't really stack up to anything because you're not really dribbling. The rest of these is kind of dribbling and how effective you are with it, whereas this is setting up your teammates, and I strongly advise that y'all have bullet passer high. You know what I mean? I personally have it on silver, bro. I feel like that's a great spot for me, but I know a lot of y'all have it Hall of Fame, so if you do have the chance to get in Hall of Fame, I would definitely do that. You know what I mean? So I just want to talk about bullet passer on his lonely, you know what I'm saying, but back to the tiers. All right, the next badge we're going to talk about, and I'm going to put it by, his, by itself in his own tier, is Hyperdrive. Now, this is like an offspring of Quick First Step, but it's still viable, bro. It's still dang near as important, bro, because this is what allows you to move with the court super fast and makes you dang near unpredictable, you know what I mean? Y'all ever see me move, you know, and watch gameplay? Y'all see how I, you know what I'm saying, do the choppy things up, up the court? And it's because of Hyperdrive, because as soon as I do that move, I'm bursting out of that super fast. Now, for my slashers, y'all gonna love this, you know what I'm saying? The people that can drive to the lane, the people that like to rim run, y'all gonna love this, bro. I very, very strongly advise that you put this at a max tier as possible as well. Obviously, it's not as important as the other ones, but I definitely would. Now, Quick Chain, I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about this, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people probably like, wear Quick Chain. You don't need this badge. What if I told you guys, you guys do not need this badge, especially if you have over 90, like 90 ball handling, you guys are gonna be able to dribble just as fast with or without this thing, you know what I'm saying? So don't waste your badge points on that and put some badge points on this next tier, you know what I'm saying? This next tier, which is the tight handles, bro. What is being a point guard if you can't break somebody off? Come on now. Tight handles is the best way to break ankles, bro. Ankle breaker is definitely cool, but this is the way, ooh, hold on. This is the way to do it, you know what I mean? This, um, it's something about it. It just gives you a lot of stuns. It makes people fall, and I just be going crazy with it. So I'll put this at a at a, at a pre, pretty decent tier. I used to rock it on silver when I had my quick chain on Hall of Fame, but now I won't got that no more. I'm putting that thing on Hall of Fame. Now, you guys gonna see I did put some more stuff on Ankle Breaker. It's kind of like tight handles, but it's a little weaker. But you know what I'm saying? If you want to maximize the possibility you can put an ankle breaker but now on to these bronze badges that i think go crazy all right now bailout is a need bro you know what i'm saying a need you have to have bailout as a point guard bronze is the only one you really need you know what i'm saying after you go up it, i mean it kind of it kind of gets better but bronze is pretty great you know what i'm saying pretty great dimer is something i don't personally run because the people i play with can shoot but if you guys are playing with some people, you know what I'm saying, if you're playing with randoms, I strongly recommend you put Dimer at the highest tier as possible with all these other badges, you know what I'm saying. Bro, another bronze badge I use is Glue Hands. Now, this is a very underrated badge, dog. Now, it's a lot of times y'all ever see y'all didn't get a clean catch, and now you fumbling all out of bounds, and by the time you uh, you was open, they already there, Glue Hands solve it, you know what I mean? You're going to be able to catch that junk clean and get a torch, you know what I mean? And it's the little things, little things like that that really matter. Like I said, with Dimer, if you're playing with randoms, floor general could definitely be good for somebody you know what i mean to uh just improve their gameplay to help you get a win but other than that i feel like all the rest of them really don't matter as much for guards space creator is very cool you know what i'm saying i know space creator you know what i mean that's pretty consistent with tight handles and ankle breaker but for me i feel like it's not a must you know what I'm saying? it's not a must at all what the hell all right, we back. Nigga, I got a little scared, boy. I don't want y'all little niggas act me. Nah, but uh, all right. So back to the uh, playmaking. Like I was saying, bro, glue hands is cool. Uh, but the rest of them, bro, they don't really matter too much. Downhill's kind of irrelevant. Break starters for the centers, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, let's finish the video off before a nigga get, you know what I'm saying, scared again. Hey, hit the subscribe button, man. We are close to that 30K, bro. We are going absolutely crazy, bro. I love y'all, bro. King of Nation, got to keep turning y'all boys up. But with that being said, have a great day, you know what I'm saying? Be blessed. Love y'all because I'm out this big gang.